Hello, what is up you guys? My name is Karina and today we're going to be doing a fun video because the pink line from Victoria's Secret came out with their new collection. It's called Paradise. It'll be in the title, but um, I think only one is actually a new scent. They are repackages, but I have personally never smelled them, so we're going to treat it like a brand new collection because I'm sure there's other of you out there that have never smelled any of them. And also, in addition, I got some of the other um, new scents for Victoria's Secret. Well, they've been new, but so I don't know if they're considered new anymore, but I got the sunflower one that um, everyone has been asking about and the green tea, cucumber and green tea one. I did not get the lavender vanilla because honestly, I don't like lavender and I don't like vanilla creamy florals make me nauseous. So I just decided I'm just, it's just not worth it to get it for me when I already know um, I won't like it, but if you were excited about that one, I'm sorry, but, 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 if you want to go see um, what it smells like, uh, Shay's Time, if uh, here on YouTube, hopefully I'm saying your name right, I'm so sorry if I'm not. But she did an amazing review of uh, both that one, the green tea one, and other ones, so definitely check out her review. Um, and yeah, uh, I do want to address the elephant in the room. Uh, I did lighten my hair a little bit. I'm going to try to go lighter for the spring and summer. Right now it's kind of a mixture of colors, but we'll get there. Yeah, let's move on. All right, so this tropical collection right here, I believe the new one, correct me if I'm wrong, is Paradise Bloom. So what do we start with? Let's start with Bronzed Coconut because you know what's funny? When I went into Victoria's Secret, I saw the collection and I, uh, I was with my boyfriend. And he's like, is this one new? Um, always supporting me boyfriend but um I was like oh my gosh it looks new and then I saw bronzed coconut and I was like oh no 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 this has been here and then later I find out it did it did come out again it's just some of them are in packages so I ended up picking the whole thing up like I said I've never smelled any of them um so this is bronzed coconut this is toasted coconut dreamy sunbeams so let us smell this guy Mm, this is really nice. Uh, as you know, I don't really like coconut. I mean, I like coconut in like lotion forms, other forms, but in body mists, it makes me nauseous. I've said that a million times in this. It smells really good. I have a feeling all of these are gonna might have like a suntan lotion vibe, but this one actually isn't that heavy. It literally smells like coconut and like, what fruit is that? Like, I feel like I need to know. Let me see if they have any other scent notes. So it looks like it's uh, toasted coconut creamy sandalwood dreamy sunbeams. It's definitely a tropical like warm fragrance. I do think it's a little like generic like every summer someone comes out with a generic coconut beach scent but it's really nice if you don't have a coconut beach scent this literally smells like you just got a tan and you're on the beach and it smells a little bit like coconut, sunshine. It is warm, but it is bright at the same time. Yeah, most of you might have probably smelled this already, but this one's really good. Again, the coconut is not for me, but if I liked coconut, it didn't make me nauseous. This might be like one of my favorites. I like it. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, next we have Tropic Palm. So this is Fresh Fig pastel palms. So fig isn't always my favorite. Let's see what else is in there just in case Victoria's Secret likes to um, hide things from the bottle on purpose, trying to deceive us. I'm just kidding. They're definitely not trying to deceive us. Um, Tropic palm. So this one is fresh fig, yuzu water, and pastel palms. Fruity, warm. So I love fruity fragrances, but not when they are warm. For some reason, that just doesn't do well with my body chemistry. Ooh, that smells good. It's very citrusy. I feel like I still smell coconut. I don't know why. Maybe it's that suntan lotion smell, kind of, that always reminds me of coconut. Yeah, it just smells like the other one, but if you added citrus to it. And a little less coconutty. And I guess I can smell a little bit of fig. But I don't usually like fig, and I do like this. Yeah, it's like more citrusy version of bronzed coconut. Yeah, that's really good. It's a little brighter than the other one. A little like younger and um, more playful and happier. 
This smells really good. Let me know between the two which one you like more if you've smelled them. Hmm. I really like this. I think I like the other one a little bit more, which is strange because that one specifically says coconut, but yeah, that's really good. All right, now uh, Sunset Sorbet, and it is Ice Papaya Coconut Shavings and Glitter Waves. Fruity Fresh. So Fruity Fresh are my favorite kind of fragrances. So let us smell this. This just looks like something I would love. Like, it's so pretty. Whoa. Okay. You know what? It does smell good. What is the papaya one, agave papaya sunset, that everybody loves? It has that agave smell and it's creamy. The reason agave papaya sunset doesn't work for me is because on the dry down it gets this creamy note and creamy um, fruits make me nauseous for some reason. And this smells like one of those candies that has like the papaya, I guess. I guess it might be papaya. Um, you know those like candies that ha are like two different colors, one it's white for the creamy part and then uh, the color of whatever fruit it is, like they have strawberry and cream ones, like, I don't know, blueberry and cream, whatever, this smells like one of those candies and really intense, so to me this is nauseating, like, um, almost like a creamsicle but a papaya creamsicle. Some people love that kind of stuff. I do like it on initial smell, but it's making me like, it's making my stomach churn. Darn, I bet a lot of people love this one. I wish my stomach wasn't like that, but yeah, I can't do it. Oh no. I like the bottle and I think a lot of people would love this one, but you have to like, like creamy fruit, fruity scents. Yeah, that's intense. It's really sweet. It's really, really sugary. Like, really sugary. Like, really sugary. But yeah, it's nice. It's just, yeah, this is gonna make me nauseous in like one, two, three, but yeah. I still like it, kind of. All right, so this is Paradise Bloom. I'm kind of hopeful that this one will be my favorite. It's um, Hibiscus Flower, Tahitian Vanilla, and Island Air, Tropical Floral. Vanilla. Not always my favorite, and Island Air can be musky, but we will see. I really like this pink, like this like deep, like almost burgundy pink. Gorgeous. Oh, bummer. Okay, so initial spray, I liked it, and then it just smells like baby powder to me. It's very powdery. The thing is though, when I think things are powdery, other people don't always think that. Like I think the Wonderland Woods, woods just smells like straight baby powder. I get maybe a little bit of the nose, but mostly just baby powder. And most people love that one and don't smell that baby powder. So don't take my word for it. I just, I'm very sensitive to like powdery smells. This to me, you get a little bit of that hibiscus and then just straight baby powder. This unfortunately is um, my least favorite of the lot. I think people will like this. If you like those kind of like powder, powdery scents, you may like it, but it's that island air. I think that island air reminds me of baby powder. Like I almost, when I'm smelling it, like I s feel like powder is going up my nose. It's so strange. Let me know what you think of this one if when you try it, but yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh well. So as a whole, that collection, I'd say my favorite is probably the Bronzed Coconut, then I'll say the Tropic Palm, um, then the Sunset Sorbet, because I do like the smell of this, I just wish it wasn't so creamy, um, because it's so nauseating for me. But yeah, let's move on to the other one. So I have uh, Eternal Sunflower, which I don't like florals, but I'm excited to try it. This is Sunflower Petals Vanilla Orchid Flower Powered. Let's smell this. Ooh, yum! On initial spray, it smells so bright and almost fruity. And then it's like a sunflower. This is a very, very bright floral. The, this entire collection was very, like, bright. Like, for people that, like, or don't really like florals, like, some people have been really enjoying it because they're not so heavy in the floral department. 
Do I think this is something you need? No. But it smells really good. It's a very sunny, bright, like, sunflower. Initially when I smelled it, it was so bright and fresh, I almost thought maybe there's citrus in it, but I don't think so. I think that was just, like, how bright it was that automatically made me think, like, citrus, you know, and it's yellow. Yeah, on initial spray, I almost get, like, lemon feeling, like a fresh lemon, but then it goes away right away, so it might just be in my head. It's really nice. Do I think it's like you need it right now? Do I think it's the best out of the entire collection? No, I think I prefer Electric Poppy and Cherry Blossoming over it. Do I though? It smells really good because I don't get like a heavy floral scent. I do like this one a lot. I didn't think I would, but yeah, I'll have to see how it wears on skin because usually floral scents, the freshness goes away and then you're just stuck with that floral dry down. But yeah, as of right now, this smells really good. I don't think it's like a need, drop everything and run. But it is really nice. All right, and last but not least, I picked up cucumber and green tea. I love green tea, so I was just thinking like maybe this would be nice after the shower if I'm having a spa day. Refresh with the scent of cucumber and green tea, botanical inspiration, pure invigoration. You know what's interesting? When I smell this, I want to say it literally smells like green tea and cucumber. Like the actual items. If you made green tea and put fresh cucumber in it, this is what it would smell like. But when I was thinking about this and what it would smell like, I imagined it that way and I was like, imagine green tea and imagine cucumber and then you'll know. And still it smells different than what I thought, but now that I'm smelling it, I'm like, no, this is, this is what green tea and cucumber smells like. The tea thing is like tea, like it actually smells like tea. And for some reason, I don't think I want to put up that on my body. Is that weird? Yeah, I don't like this one as much as I thought I would. Because on the tr it's kind of making me nauseous again. Maybe it's like still smelling the other ones. But that tea part is confusing my brain. Like, why are you smelling this in a body mist? It's interesting, I don't think it's my favorite. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think of these scents. I don't think any of them like blew me away. Let me know if you want a review of the coconut scents. I know some are repackages, um, they brought it back again. I know there's a new coconut line, so if you wanna see Bath & Body Works uh, coconut line uh, reviewed, let me know. I already know I'm not a big fan of coconut, so I'm just not sure whether to take the step to buy it. So depending on what you guys want, I will, um, go from there. But yes, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.